lifts up our head as well. As it is written, when one member suffers, all suffer. If one is hurt, then we all hurt. But if one is revived, then revival springs through the whole camp. And the same voice of the Lord just dropped in my spirit, amen, and I will read a few words briefly while we minister to our daughter amen praise the lord may anyone who is in any type of travail or trial be strengthened with these words will you turn with me to the book of the prophet job chapter 23 and verse 1 amen glory to god amen salute in the mighty name of the lord jesus wonderful to be back with you Amen. Enjoyed a very rich fellowship with my wife this year of 24 years. Thanking God for Sister Kip, for my sons, my daughters, for the elders of the church, the ministers. Amen. Join us next week Sunday. We'll be in DMV, opening up the DMV campus. Amen. By the name of the Lord grateful to the lord for this hour amen in which he have chosen us not only to believe on him but also to suffer for his name job 23 and 1 says job answered and said even today is my complaint bitter my stroke is heavier than my groaning Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat. I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments. Lord, there's a lot that I need to say to you, but I don't know where you are. This is the spirit of prophecy resting on Job suffering wrongfully i want to remind you that job suffered for righteousness sake he was chosen to be afflicted not by anything that he did because the record of heaven concerning job was that he was a man that eschewed evil upright perfect yet he is in a furnace of affliction from chapter 1 and now chapter 23 is just opening and he's like I don't know where God is and it's not until you get into the belly of that whale hallelujah that you know what it means to cry unto god hallelujah it's one thing when you pray for others but it's another thing when the very thing you pray for others for now it swallows you up hallelujah and you gotta believe god you gotta stand on the declaration you gotta speak to the mountain and 23 chapters later it, the mountain is not only still there but it's gotten worse and job is saying if i could just get to him go i know you live i know you exist i know you're here but where are you You can shout right now if you've ever been in this whale's belly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Look like I'm surrounded. Look like death is going to swallow me up. I would order my cause before him, verse 4, and fill my mouth with arguments. I would know the words which he would answer me because I'm calling, but I'm not getting an answer. 
if I could just get where you are, then I would know what you will answer me. And Job is saying, then I'll be all right. Glory to God. He, he says, and understand what he would say. Lord, why do you even have me here? Lord, is this something I did wrong? Lord, did I error? Lord, did I detour? Did I misunderstand you? Lord, I thought it was you that I heard. Lord, didn't you drive me? Didn't you tell me to take this path? Lord, I need to hear from you. And God, it pleased him to be silent with Job for a season. He says, will he plead with me with his great power? No, but he will put strength in me. So here's the comfort. Here's the spirit warring against the flesh. The flesh is like, I'm about to perish. But the spirit is like, if you just find him, amen, you'll get the strength that you need. So there's a war in your mind. Glory to God. The side that feel like I'm not going to make it. And the side that says stand in the evil day. And these two are in war with another. The side says, I'm going to be lost in this well and the other side that says I'm going to rise again on the third day and, and, and this war exists in the spirit but I, I, I love as I was reading through here he says if, if, if he will put strength with me there the righteous might dispute with him so I would be delivered forever from my judge and then he says behold I go forth but he is not there and backward but I cannot perceive him on the left hand where he doeth work but I cannot behold him he hideth himself on the right hand and so I used to be able to see very clearly but right now I can't see him. You, you ever struggle with where, where your vision is just blurry? And when it gets blurry, even when people speak into you, it gets blurry. You come to the place that David fell in uh, when he was surrounded by adversaries and David just said I said in my haste all men are liars every time somebody come and say you gonna make it and God gonna show up after a while you get numb to it because you can't see it glory to God all I see is death all I see is sorrow all I see is shame all I see is mockery all I see is humiliation all I see hallelujah is darkness around me and he's like if I could just see him this is strong I want to read this in your spirit so that you know there's no temptation taking you but such as is common to man. Lift up your hand. God is faithful. And just. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. I must say that again. He will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. Third time. He will not suffer you uh, to be tempted uh, above that which you are able if you're suffering uh, then God gave you the ability hallelujah to war in this warfare against your adversary on the left hand where he doeth work I cannot behold him in verse 9. He hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him. But he knows the way that I take. You can't walk by what you feel. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel, hallelujah, like I can't see him. I feel like he's not hearing me. I feel like I'm going to die. I feel like I'm going to perish. But what I feel will not control me. I'm going to walk by what I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that all things.
things hallelujah are being ordered on the behalf of the faithful hallelujah God will plead the cause of the righteous if you walk by what you feel you're walking to a ditch you are walk in the error you are backslide you will lose the resurrection you got to walk in what you know so in this war glory to God Job says uh, but he knows this ought to lift up somebody head right now hallelujah hallelujah your enemy don't know what your God knows hallelujah your adversaries don't know what your God knows persecutors don't know sometimes people you live with don't know but you serve a God who knows does does he know glory to God hallelujah he's not ignorant is he glory to God he's not blind is he hallelujah he can see can he he knows he knows he knows put that let me fill your belly hallelujah with the fruit of that word he knows he knows the way that I take when he hath tried me I might maybe I will I think This, was, this is what has to govern you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to say arise, arise. Put on your strength. Oh Zion, put on your beautiful garment. Shake off the dust off of your feet. When he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. Why? My foot have held his steps. Glory to God. Saints of God. Glory to God. Don't let the spirit of error deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous even as God is righteous. If you're walking in the spirit of God, God knows where you are and when he has tried you, you shall come forth. You shall. You shall. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. My God. Hallelujah. You shall. You better praise him, sis. Glory to God. You shall. You shall. I'm fighting against the adversary. If I could just get about three more soldiers just to say, I shall. No sooner you declare that, here comes that foul. No, you won't. You're going to die that way. It's always going to be like this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is what the devil was saying when you was on dialysis. Glory to God. You're going to die this way. But you walked up out the hospital when your kidneys was at 2%. He said you was going to die that way. Hallelujah. It rose up to 5. He said you was going to die that way. It rose up to 10. Last time I saw you is at 15%. Hallelujah. The devil been lying the whole time. Who you going to listen to? The liar? Hallelujah. But God God said my sheep they know my voice and this thing glory to God because it tries how often you give ear to the devil God gotta purify you because if you're real you give more ear to the devil than you are than you would have let on doubt comes when two different opinions are, are held as potentially true one says you're going to die one says you're going to live and you partly believe both of them but faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not 
seeing. And by it, the elders retained a good report. Let, 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 let's, let's work with this. Y'all sit down for a moment. I actually came here this morning to talk about the new card. And as I was sitting there and I bowed my knees while Sister Jen poured out the oil before the Lord, I saw this message. If you can see it, it's not hope. Hope that is seen is not hope. You can't rejoice when you see it because then it's not hope. You got to rejoice because he said it. Hallelujah. And if he said it, then the worship is the evidence of what you haven't seen. Why are you shouting? Glory to God. Because a miracle about to happen. Why are you shouting? Because deliverance about to spring for. Why are you shouting? Because my healing. Hallelujah. Why are you shouting? Because bands is broken. You got to hear the sound of the chains while you still in fetters. Somebody get up with me right now and just walk around in this fire bound. Hallelujah, Sister Jen. You're walking in the fire bound. Hallelujah. But there's a fourth one. Lift your faith up. Lift it up. Lift it up. notice as you walk hallelujah parasites start dying as you walk caterpillars start drying up as you walk locusts fall out the ground hallelujah why you gotta walk in what is not seen Joseph I had fainted except except what come on up here I had fainted except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So your hope must be based. Actually, I want you to say something. You ain't got to read today. Amen. Let the prophet speak by two or three. We're going to bind this devil today, OCOJ. Help me bind him. One voice got to be true and the other got to be false. The false one, uh, bind it right now. It's not enough, as Rob said, to just say it in your heart. Call him out. Hallelujah, was you that lied to me? Hallelujah, when I was on dialysis, you are a liar. It was you that said my daughter was going to die in her sleep. She's still alive. How long will I consider your voice? Call out that liar. Call him out, glory to God, hallelujah. Call him out by the power of the Holy Ghost. This the same spirit said you can't live for God. Living for God is too hard. Hallelujah, how long will you consider the voice? Of that liar. God's voice must be true. In so much, watch this. 
You can listen to this and then you can say it if you believe it. I don't want you to say it and you don't believe it. I'm so persuaded of his promise that I die waiting. How many of y'all would say, I'd rather die waiting? Oh, oh I, 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 glory to God. I, I, I just heard a, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. 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 Watch this, Joseph. And I want you to speak on this. Hebrews 11 and 39. I'm not speaking some poetically fancy saying. This is scripture. These all having obtained a good report through faith. Receive not the promise. God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect sometimes God would delay your miracle because he needs some other folk to be a part of it glory to God God will delay deliverance because there are some others who need to partake in the deliverance that he's going to manifest through you I'm not worried about the promise as much as I'm worried about the report you could get the promise in this life and die and be lost now many people been healed and then backslid your report is greater than the promise that you could go to a place where Lord I will die trusting you when God sees that report this, this is not a new report. This is the report of the brothers before they went in the fire. Our God who we serve is able to deliver. That's the promise. Out of the fiery furnace. But if not, we're going to die with this report. That to God alone will we bow. We will not compromise. Strengthen your report. The promise will come. This same pastor says these all died in faith. Think about that. These all died in faith. Having not received the promise, but they were persuaded of them. They, they embraced them. They confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims. And you know why that heart is so important? Because if it came to any other voice but God's, they would not receive it. This is really strong because some who wait on the promise, they got a plan B. They got another option. When you got a good report, there are no other options. Hallelujah. If God don't come, I'm going to die like this. These all died in faith having not received the promise. God preparing some better thing for us. Think about how strong this is. This is the kind of unwavering faith that God is looking for. Where we chase God more than the miracle. Let me say another way. Your report 
is greater than the miracle itself. You believe that? You believe that? The report you have in heaven is more vital and critical than the deliverance from your adversity. The report will cause the gates of heaven to open up for you, Jen. God said your worship reach heaven. I know you probably got many things that you need deliverance of. But just that he will call my name. And give me a report that I reach heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, I can face tomorrow. The deliverance will come but I thank him for the report the report is greater than the deliverance the report tests your resolve Satan didn't believe the report of Job have you considered my servant Job none like him in all the earth Said, do if Job serve God for nothing it's the report the enemy was after. If you think about it, Satan wasn't really after Job's stuff or his children. He was really after his report, his integrity. What kind of report will you maintain when God delays the promise? When you become a laughing stock, when you become a humiliation. What kind of report will you maintain? Shall not God deliver his own elect which cry after him day and night though he bear long with them? He said, I tell you, nevertheless, nay, he, he, will, he will avenge them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? So, Pull that up, Luke chapter 18. I want Joseph to say a few words and he, he might close us. But Luke chapter 18 and 1 gives this word that men ought to always pray and not to faint. And he gave this parable and we've read this many times and I've spoken to you about praying like a widow there was in a city a judge which feared not god neither regarded man there was a widow in that city she came in saying deliver me of my adversary avenge me and and what he would not for a while but afterwards said within himself though i fear not god nor regard man yet because this widow troubleth me i will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me amen another passage talks about importunity just the diligent seeker that is relentless after God for deliverance and will accept nothing else but God himself and the Lord said hear what the unjust judge saith raise up verse 7 and shall not God avenge his own elect which do what cry day and night unto him though he though he someone say that part we know he will deliver and avenge but there are chapters in which he chooses to bear law When he bears long, it tests your report. Some were tortured, refusing deliverance. What happens? He's testing the report. Shall not God avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them what? Speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find anybody still crying? 
This is what he means. When, shall he find faith on earth? Will he find anyone that's still believing him? Regardless of how deep the adversity is. This is the good report. So he says, I'm going to avenge speedily. Don't worry about that. I just want to see your report. Will you maintain a good report? Will you continue to cry day and night after me though the thing you asked for hasn't come to pass yet? Though I'm silent with you from uh, about the last 20 chapters, will you still maintain your integrity? Will you still walk in holiness? Will you still cry day and night? Or will it just be day now? The adversary is trying to kill your report. You better rebuke that liar out of your life, out of your ears, out of your spirit. God is looking for faith. And it's the evidence of things not seen. Y'all see this, saints of God? Do y'all see this? Job said, regardless of what I feel, I know that he is aware of where I am. And I know that when he has tried me, I will come forth as pure gold. You got to remain unmovable. You see this? You got to remain unmovable. Amen. That means the answer can't be greater than the God that gives the answer. I'm telling y'all, I see people ask God for things and when it don't happen the way they wanted it to happen, all of a sudden uh, they break down the altar and they go and serve some other God. Whether it's nightclub or it's cocaine or it's sex or it's some sort of perversion because they made the answer and the deliverance greater than the report your report hallelujah must be critical because the report gets you into the next life this life is only a vapor it appears for a little time and then it passes away some die old some die young some die the infants but all got to die the report the term is if I rise again. Give God a hallelujah for your report. I want you to protect your report. Come on, Elder Joseph. Glory to God. I want you to protect your report. Go on. Who still got the testimony that I'd rather die waiting? Come on, soldier. My God from glory. Lord Jesus. That report is very, very important, as Pastor just said. That it is, it, it, it is what will send you to hell or bring you into heaven. And, and when it comes to the report, most of us don't have the report because we don't really know who God is. We forgot the God that we claim we serve. If we knew our God, we would not struggle with the report. My, I, 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 I'm going to try and make this speed. Job chapter 23, verse 10. As Pastor just concluded and, and summarized this, that Job is making his arguments before God that if I knew your address, uh, and, and how many of us, we, we, we have numbers, right? We could call somebody, but if they don't pick up, what do we do? Jump in the car and go to their house. Job's like, I tried praying, but if I only knew where you dwelt at, I would go to your door. But he, in verse 10, it says, but he knoweth the way that I take. The know is very important. We're going to labor on this for, for a few minutes. That I take when he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Let's go to Psalms chapter 139. And it's amazing because this is what the Lord led us to, to teach on the Thursday night Bible study. Psalm chapter 139 and verse 1. O Lord, thou hast searched me 
and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar of off. Thou compass my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. See, we, we pray things, saints of God, before the Lord for deliverance, for different things, right? But we don't actually know what we're praying for, right? We ask God for deliverance, but we forget that God has a process. And so when we come to prayer now, we, we have to understand that the Lord knows the way that he's leading us on, right? And I love this verse in verse 3 that it says, are acquainted with all my ways when you're going down your trials when you're going down the path of your tribulation god saw the perfect end he said my thoughts that i think towards you are of peace and not of evil so if you're going through a tribulation god searched all your paths he searched what's the best way to get you to the end state what's the best way i could get you there what's the best way to make you perfect and when he searched all of the ways the conclusion was the only way to get you perfect is through the tribulation and so he's leading you he's guiding you why because he's acquainted with all your ways for there is not a word in thy tongue in my tongue but lo O oh lord thou knowest it all together god i don't know how to pray this thing away god but you know oh my god and it goes on because i'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to speed through this in verse 5, thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? This is, this is where we're going. We're, we're drawing our clothes to. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Yes, Job said that I looked I tried going to the left and to the right hand, but I couldn't find you. But this is what the prophet David had to say as well. My God, I lost my place. Verse 7, whither shall I go from thy spirit? Where can I go where your spirit isn't at? Where can I go where your spirit doesn't dwell? Where can I go that you're absent? You see, Job said, I searched for you on the left and on the right. But David is saying, your spirit, even though I cannot physically see you, you're still there. When you hide yourself, you're not actually leaving me. You wanted me to go deeper. I hope somebody's understanding that the tribulation might make you feel alone. But God said, if, and again, if you knew your God, you would know that it's impossible for God to lie. That same God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You might feel alone, but you ain't alone. You might feel forgotten, but you ain't for, oh, God from glory. I hope somebody's listening. Your report will stay intact when you know your God. It goes on to say, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? Lord, I don't feel you. It doesn't mean you ain't in his presence. Just because you don't feel him doesn't mean you ain't in his presence. He got to test what ground you're on. Oh my God, because we could come in here and shout because we feel the trembling. But can you come here and shout and you don't feel the wind blowing? Don't you know they were in the upper room before the wind blew? They were tearing before the wind blew. They were rejoicing before the wind blew. And as a result, because of that praise, a mighty wind came. Oh my God, don't you know if you want the presence of God, you want the Lord to start moving. He wants to start praising him before he gets there. Oh God from glory. He said, if I ascend up into heaven... That art there. In other words, if I ascend into the place where you actually dwell, I know you're going to be there. But watch this. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I go to the worst state of the tribulation, I'm meeting you there. You're not meeting me there. You're already there. Oh, my God. The Bible said that he is a very present help. Or he is a very pre-sent help. He is a pre-sent help. Oh my, uh, 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 we, we got to get out of here. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 because I don't want to keep y'all long. If you don't know anything else about your God, know this about him. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15. 
For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling. Somebody say feeling. It doesn't say just infirmities. The feeling. The feeling of your infirmities. The feeling of your struggle. The feeling of your tribulation. The feeling of your pain. It says with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin in verse 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need let's take our point here in verse 15 it says for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities that means that yes you might be going through the fire but guess what god is in the fire with you but we're not gonna stop there you might feel the heat but guess what god is feeling it too why because we don't have a high priest that can't relate to what you're going through he oh my god when he's in the fire with you don't you know he understands what you're going through he ain't sitting there as God untouchable but he said I'm with you in the deepest part of hell if you're suffering if you're suffering with him oh my God I hope somebody's listening this Hebrew uh, uh, Daniel chapter 3 records the story of the three Hebrew men Right, and we know this story. We know that they refused to bow. We know that they were thrown into the fiery furnace. But one thing, when I went back in the book, it doesn't say that they knew or that they saw the fourth one. It doesn't say they saw the fourth one. The enemy saw the fourth one. But they understood their God to such a degree that I don't need to see him to know he's with me. You're talking about that resolve. That God, I'm not serving you for a shake. I'm serving you because I know you can't lie. I'm not serving you to confirm your word. Because I know once you make a promise, you yourself can't go against it. He said, when I could swear by no other, I swore by myself. So they're in the fire. You see, and I want, I want to, I'm real quick, I want to teach you real quickly about the power of faith. When you have to resolve like those men, because Hebrews chapter 12 teaches us, right, that wherefore we are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses. It doesn't, you may not have the experience, but somebody in that book does. You may not have the experience, but somebody in this book does. All you got to do is go back to the book. So they have this great faith. And get this. The Bible doesn't say that they didn't, they didn't feel the heat. They, they, they heated up the furnace seven times hotter. How many of us have ever put our hand over the stove? How many of us have ever put our hand over our open flame? Now make it seven times hotter. You see, you only could get to a certain you, you, you could get to a certain place in the fire, but you're not going near it. It was heated seven times hotter. And then we see that they didn't struggle. My God from glory. Last place we're going to read is Acts chapter 4. This is where we're going to close, but I want to I wanna just met, uh, uh, reveal this to you. So they, they, they didn't struggle away from the tribulation. Most of us struggle against the tribulation because we don't know Romans chapter 8 verse 28 that says, and we know that all things are working together for the good of those that love God to them that are the called according to his purpose. We want blessing according to our purpose. We want deliverance according to our purpose, but we forgot that we were created for his glory. I'm going, I'm going somewhere. And so they, they have this resolve that it doesn't matter how hot the fire God I know my God even if I have to burn up in it I know my God and so it says that they were thrown in there the enemy overtook them and they threw them into the mist, not the outskirts of the fire but in the mist of the seven times hotter flame and when they fell they fell on their knees they fell on their knees 
They, it didn't say they fell down. They fell to their side. They fell on their back. They fell down. When the enemy overtakes you, what's the position you fall into? It's when he pushes you down. Thank you. You put me in prayer. When he pushes you down. Thank you. You put me in before God. When he pushes you down. Thank you. I'm laying at his feet. What happens when the enemy pushes you down? And so, because they fell into the midst of the furnace, but they knew their God. They began, after they were done with their intercession, they got up and they began to walk around it. Why? Because I'm not allowing where I'm at to bound me. Yes, my hands can be tied, but my feet are loose. Yes, my mouth, they can duct tape my mouth, but my hands can be raised. Oh my God, I hope somebody's listening. And so afterwards, they were loosed of the bands. But get what? Get this. They were thrown, oh God, they were still thrown, they were still in the midst of the furnace when they were loose. That tells me that they didn't try to escape, although they were loose. They were in the midst of the furnace. Most of us, if we're loose, we're trying to jump out of the flame. They stayed there until God's will was done. What I'm trying to tell you, saints of God, is that we have to get to a resolve in our faith. We have to understand our God to such a degree that even if there is a way of escape, I won't go there until God says, go. I won't go towards the escape until God said, you're free to go. Because when you're in the midst of the fire, somebody say, it's bigger than me. When you're in the midst of your tribulation, it's bigger than you. The Lord wanted to prove to Nebuchadnezzar that these are my people. Oh my God. And so what the enemy had, what the enemy was doing, he was looking for them to burn. He was looking for them to burn. Yeah, because I threw multiple people in the furnace and they all burned. And so this one is going to be just like the rest. But when you have a resolve for God, God, Sister Jen, I hope this is ministering to you. When you have a resolve for God, you will, you, the Lord will put you inside of a place that the enemy have to watch you be blessed. Again, they didn't see the fourth one. The enemy did. Why do we think Psalms 23 says, Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of of my enemy the lord may not remove the enemy but he'll bring them in such a close proximity to watch you be blessed but if you go before the time the enemy won't see it the enemy won't see the fourth one if you jump out of the fire as soon as you're loosed let's go to Acts chapter 4 because i said i didn't want to keep y'all long Acts chapter 4 verse 29 it says and now Lord behold their threatenings this is how we start our prayer Lord you see where I'm at Lord you see my struggles Lord the enemy is trying to tear me down Lord I need deliverance Lord I need you to take me out of this place Lord I need you to make a way out of no way but they didn't pray that it says, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. He said, I, I see their threatenings, Lord, but I'm praying that you increase the boldness that we'll continue to walk in what you said, Lord. I, want you, I don't want you to take it away. I want you to increase me that I can withstand it. I, I don't want you to remove the tribulation because it's working for my good. Oh my God. If you understood what it was actually doing. For this light affliction, which is but for a moment. What does it do? It worketh for us. A more exceedingly eternal weight of glory. Oh my God. If you understood me going through, me being weak, that it was working for you. You wouldn't pray, Lord, take it away. 
You want to pray, Lord, take it away. Why? Because it's working for me. Oh, my God. Don't you know that the Lord has placed us inside of a special position? Somebody say special position. He placed us inside of a special position that the enemy is hired to help us. The enemy is hired to help us. What do I mean? Is that yes, I could have been having to do the sacrifice as apostle. I could have had to go and get all types of tutter doves and, and bulls and rams that would try to get me approved before God to be worthy of heaven. But the Lord said, cut that out. I'm just going to use the enemy to shut up. I'm going to use him to fast track you. I'm going to use him to promote you faster. Because the tribulation is working for you. Oh my God. It's why, why you're going through. Your, your riches in heaven are being increased. But let's keep going. It says, And grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. By stretching forth thy hand to heal. And that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed. The place was shaken where they were assembled together. Why? Because that prayer pleased God. Don't you know that the Lord prayed a similar prayer? He said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Because there's something powerful. When you begin to align yourself with the will of God. It's something powerful. When you begin to align yourself with the purpose of God. God, I don't understand it. But I know you don't do things by mistake. Lord, I may not have knowledge of where this is going. But I know at the end, I win. Oh, God from glory. I pray this word as, long as, as well as what Bishop was talking about. Re protect your report you know how many show of hands how many know God doesn't lie how many of us know that God is faithful to his word so if he said you're going to come out why would you doubt that why would you doubt that word learn this God and I'll just give you a summary real quickly the same God when he was all by himself, don't you understand the complexities of the universe? I'm going to show you how powerful he is. And he said, I'm with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That same God with just his word created the different galaxies, the stars, the moons, the crater, uh, uh, the, the craters, the, the asteroids with his word. He created all types of species of well just by let there be. He didn't specify what species, but whatever was in his mind when he spoke, it happened. You got the you got the whale sharks, you got the great white sharks, you got the nurse sharks, you got the angel fish, you you got the lion fish, you got the seal lions, you got the dolphins, the orcas, you got all manner of sea creatures bound up in the word. Let the waters, let the waters bring forth. Let the, let, the, let the heavens, let the air be filled. Because he doesn't need to specify. We want God to be specific. Lord, when are you going to move? I just said I'm going to move. Lord, look, when is this going to happen? I just said it's going to happen. When you understand your God, when does, Lord, I just need you to say something. I just know that whenever you choose to open up your mouth, it's going to be wrapped up. It's done. It's completely done. That God. When you begin to understand that God. That your trials ain't overtaking you. Why? Because I have that God on my side. It may look like I'm surrounded. But I'm surrounded by the good God almighty. I may look like. It may feel like. I can't go anywhere. But when you understand that you have the God that's undefeated. The Philistines had an undefeated male champion. But I have the undefeated God. That when, that when this Lucifer tried to come against him himself, he got the boot. So I want to encourage somebody today. Know your God. Protect 
your report it doesn't matter what it looks like if you can see it no it's temporary that's what the book said that if the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are not seen are eternal the temporary is preparing the eternal the temporary is preparing the eternal oh my god i hope somebody is encouraged hold fast to god's unchanging hand somebody just say that hold fast to god's unchanging hand there was this one part lastly i'm sorry y'all verse 10 of psalms chapter 139 i was trying to find this right here psalms 139 verse 10 and i promise i'm closing i'm done even there shall thy hand lead me so his hand is leading us his left hand is leading us and thy right hand shall hold me don't you understand the right hand of god symbolizes power he's holding you in his power he's leading you through whatever situation you're going through but he has you in power you might not feel strong but you're kept in power he's creating you in power this is why you if you would dare open up your mouth the heavens will shake why because i'm not in weakness because let the weak say i am strong why because i might feel weak but i'm dwelling in power the tribulation is building more power i hope somebody hears it he's acquainted with all of our ways and he searched what path would bring us to the expected end so if it's tribulation my god give gl god glory for it why because it's working for your good path come on can we give the lord a shout praise the lord can we give the lord almighty a shout shout unto the lord thank you jesus we greatly honor the lord today and we magnify him for his word amen and we thank him amen saints of god stand upon your feet amen and just fill your belly with the words of your mouth amen let your report be protected let God dwell inside of you everything that you see is temporary the things that are not seen they are eternal amen praise the Lord and so for this cause we walk by faith and not by sight come on and lift your hands unto the lord god amen father we thank you in the name of jesus lord i seal this word in the heart of your people each and every one name by name those that are here those that are online those that are here this afterward hallelujah let them guard the report and believe you hallelujah faithful unto the end let them never be removed oh god let them be bold as lions oh god in their adversity and in their distress let them call on the lord who is worthy to be praised and so shall we be saved from our enemies father we glorify your name hallelujah lifting up our voices may the word of our mouth meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight O lord my strength my redeemer and let the people of the lord say amen it is so!